Welcome back to Underrated Movies. I'm your guy. I'm your man, Mr. Alton Henry. Today I'm going to talk to you of another underrated film I just watched almost an hour ago. It's a South Korean film called A Girl at My Door, starring South Korean actress Dona Bay. And it's a story of a uh, a cop who takes in a girl who's being abused by her father. And they, she tries to uh, protect her from her father, uh, the policewoman, Donna Bay. And soon things kind of get a little bit complicated where the wife and her secrecy of, of, of being a, um, no, a lesbian. And... Um, I saw the trailer. How do I discover this movie? I just just discovered this movie today. On uh, I think I was looking at her filmography, and I, I just saw this film, and it popped up, and it was free. And I'm a fan of Donna Bay, so uh, I saw the film, and it was actually pretty good. It was pretty good. It was a pretty slow build, quiet little film. Um, really centers on this lonely. Um, police chief who's craving for connection and she's moved away uh, from um, trying to escape from her uh, previous relationship and she comes across a troubled uh, 14 year old who she soon discovers her father a drunk is beating the heck out of her so you see the uh, level of kindness that Donna Bay gives her and the two uh, get attached and become friends. And Donna Bay sees this girl that, uh, that's in trouble and really wants to try to step in and do something about it, which is actually kind of tough where uh, you, I guess you need some sort of foreseen aware like evidence to show that there is some sort of abuse that happens doesn't matter who but what you know it, it's a, the very tough situation how this movie uh predicts um child endangerment and uh there's a lot of layers to this film and what i really loved about this film is how quiet that these small little moments that these that that this film um, puts out, and how how two lonely people are trying to es basically escape their struggles, escape their 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 their, their, their bad situations, and you. Uh, have this girl that's really trying to get attached to to Donna Bay and trying to really look up to her as like a new caretaker and uh you could see the level of caution that she has when it comes to trying to get involved cause the father complete a hole and drunk really tries to get in and disrupts Donna Bay's life and then pretty much messes up her, her her just beats up her daughter it's, it's it's hard to watch there are some scenes in here that are pretty hard to watch and it does center on some subject matters that not to take lightly of donna bay is amazing in this and i like how she portrays this character where she she's trying to run away from her from her issues i'm not going to say what those issues were but you can tell she's dealing with it in a very unhealthy way which comes to alcohol and then the 14 year old girl who gets abused by her her her, her, her father and the way she handles that is so heartbreaking you can see the damage done to that and the film really it really what I'm trying to say it really it it's a touch it's a touchy subject it really to at least to me realistically uh tackles the 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 
fear of child endangerment is that he said she said stuff until you uh find the evidence for it and it really you're really rooting for these characters to find a way to 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 get out of their situation and to uh have their happy ending there's a lot of things that kind of go on to the slow build film and i won't get too much into it but to the main theme that i that i believe that that the film touches on is kindness uh and how we are <laughs> where I believe we tend to tend to not really I believe we tend to not really stand up for 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 pure kindness um, no matter what uh, your opinion is on certain certain matters and uh, sometimes that gets blurred between uh, assumptions and and uh, accusations where it's not always the case where we like to believe and hear what we want to want to want, want to hear but to its core this is a very heartbreaking film i'm trying to be i'm trying to choose my words carefully on this film but this movie was actually really good it was really good it was really good this was a really good film there were moments I ain't gonna lie. It, 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 there are moments here that are tough to watch, even for my standards. Uh, but the ending is rewarding, where you do have that ha happy ending for these characters, where they do grow their friendship. Um, and I won't get too much into it because uh, there's. Again, there's so much things that kind of goes on, especially in the second act of the film, that really uh, gives one character the courage to stand up for themselves and to to leave a situation that is so dangerously dire that they've they 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 they, they do that to kind of help the other. Uh, while the other one was trying to help them out, but then something comes up where there, where there's accusations that happens, and there's a level of sacrifice that comes towards that toward towards that outcome. But this is a good film. Um, this is this is a good film. I highly recommend it. Um, a girl at my door. Have you seen it? Comment below. Let me know if you have, and let me know what's your favorite underrated movie. I might not even just do an intro for this. I might just upload it. And there you go.